What's up guys, Miguel here, quick video. Today I'm gonna be using this new FLIR MR77. Um, I'm gonna compare it to using this MR176. I've been using an MR176 for the last seven years and uh, this one has really cool features that you could just um, push with a button over here without messing with all the settings. Um, this one is relative humidity. It is pretty humid here in our uh, facility. And that's the dew point. And then uh, that's the GPP. And then pretty much I'm gonna, just going to be using it for this. And then these will come in when we're taking our logs. Um, pretty sensitive on the on the on the back sensor part where as with the MR176 you got to mess with the options over here to actually get to where you need to get to um, so pretty much you can go image mode uh, psychrometrics boom and then you got everything over here I'm probably biased towards this one and I'm going to like this one more because I feel like, you know, everything is right there. And uh pretty much I'm just I'm just used to working with it. And uh yeah. So this is this is my moisture meter of choice. There you go. And then uh, this one is reading zero and then this one's reading 0.3 of a percent. Um, this one has definitely more uh, stuff going on with it. And uh, this one is a little bit more uh, easy. So I'm gonna bring both of them to work today. I'm gonna go see um, how I feel about the new moisture meter. I will take some videos on how the new moisture meter is going to do but pretty much we also have this e e54 about five grand for this bad boy um i don't particularly like that one either i would rather use my FLIR e4 which is a very very simple thermal imaging camera anyways hope the video uh is helpful and seeing the difference between the MR176 and the MR177.